the wait is over, the Valley of the Old Farm is finally here. What's going on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got eight mods for you. For all platforms, we've got four new and four updates. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Valley the Old Farm. This is a fictional European style map with over 90 fields. Whether you're doing crops, doing animals, or logging, there is nothing that you can't do with this map. Super, super exciting. This was on FS17, it is back for 19, and it is literally better than ever. So let's take a look at the PDA and let's see what we've got going on. Look at that, check that out. That is a bunch of fields. All different shapes and sizes, all things going on here. Very, very cool, very exciting. Um, you start off with, well, you start off with all the stuff main in the farm and everything like that, but what do we get? One field, I think? <laughs> New farmer mode. Looking around, yep, you get one field, field 62. Um, now, in this uh, farm right here, we have sheep, We've got cows and we've got chickens. If you want pigs, you're gonna go down here to this area. You're gonna have to buy field 56 and 93 along with it. Map price isn't that bad, 394 grand. But once you buy that, then your pig icon pops up, which is cool. I think that's neat that it doesn't actually pop up until then. We also have another cow pasture right here as well. This is brand new. This was not here in 17, but it is here in 19. Boom, right there on field 22. What do you get with new farmer? Well. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's check out the garage. So you get a Fed favorite 511C. You get a John Deere 6135M. You get the Bison Super Z056. You get the Pickup 78. You get a tipper. You get a header, you get a cultivator, and a cedar. That's it. That is all you get. I remember playing this, trying to use the end game stuff, and there was no fertilization. You couldn't fertilize your fields. And I think I might go with that this time around as well. I might go do something with that. Who knows? But nonetheless this is an amazing absolutely truly amazing map you guys have got to play this we're going to be playing this on our live stream a little bit later on next new mod today is the class roland 250 roto cut this is going to cost you twenty five thousand dollars. manufacturer of course is class it is the roland 250 roto cut and needed power 98 horsepower this does all your basic stuff this does straw hey grass that's it uh, it also will do 4,000 liter round bales so all of that is good all of that is normal however this goes a little bit slower it goes three miles an hour slower than the other stuff in game this goes nine miles per hour the other stuff in game will go about 12 miles per hour so if you want to check this out what we're going to do is we're going to go into tools we're going to go into bailing technology and we shouldn't have to go too far to find this bad boy there it is right there 250 roto cut for twenty five thousand dollars 98 horsepower four thousand liter bells 2.1 meters and nine miles per hour grass a straw boom let's go and customize one of these so we get rim color so we start with the cloth red then we get a gray matte and a primer gray as well as primer gray is the uh, base color for most of the wheels in game that is pretty cool pto we get a low attach pto or a high attach pto attacher type low or high depending on what kind of tractor you're pulling this behind maybe it's a big one you need to get that pto and uh hitch a little bit higher up to, in order for this to work properly well you could do that also wheel setups we have standard and we have the aw303s back to their 305s rather back to standard so your standard are the bigger wheels and then of course you have your 305s which are a little bit smaller but Nothing wrong with this. I think this is really neat to have. Your next to last new mod today is the Lizard 6 Elm Cultivator. This is going to cost you $7,000. Max working speed, 17 kilometers per hour, around 12 miles per hour. Required power, 180 horsepower, working with 6 meters. The uh, folding front cultivator from Lizard 6 Elm Cultivator brand is perfect for preparing your seed bed, a.k.a. Easy cultivator. If we jump in, do like this, we can see we've got it on the front right now. we got a 200 horsepower tractor, and we could fold it. So you can do just like that. Now, one of the really cool things about this is if you want to run it with a plow or anything like that, you can easily say plow or something like that. Why don't you just put a six meter uh, cedar behind it? There you go. How's about that? Let's unfold. Into the ground we go. Very cool. Very cool. Now, where are you going to find this? Of course, this is going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in cultivators. And we've got a bunch of cultivators now. I've got every single one that we've got installed, even the six meter one. So show you. If you've got as many installed as I do, you're going to have to go for a little ways. But here we are, the 6M Cultivator, $7,000, 180 horsepower required, 6 meters at 10 miles per hour, not 12. 
there you go. No customization. Would have been really nice to see some customization on here. Um, at least color. Be nice to change this whatever color you want. Maybe change the shares a uh, different color as well. But eh, gets at the end of the day, it is what it is. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Ponzi Bison Shuttle. This is a forwarder by uh, Ponzi. <laughs> <laughs> ran out of ran out of words there the end of the day it is what it is you can extend this out bring it out we've got uh straps everything that you would expect to be normal with this is normal with this and if we go in and check it out we're going to jump into forestry machines and actually we don't have to go very far for me this was the very first mod so <laughs> it should be the very first mod for you guys as well rim color we've got just about whatever you want we even have the turquoise which is kind of neat uh same thing here with the main color and the design color which i think is really cool now the design color what does that change well that's only going to change your grapple in the back so depending on what color you want that to be maybe you want it to be that color it actually doesn't look too bad check that out but there you go that's what that is will brands we have trelleborg we have all the in trelleborg so we've got the twin radials we've got the uh, 780s the 710s the 428 sbs the 422 sbs t4 force whoop whoop and uh, back to the 680s in all of officers we have uh, well pretty much everything that i think you would expect to see all in the blue color though so these don't change up to red or yellow anything like that logging blade yes or no in the front window glass bright or dark we also have decal on the claw without the decal or with the decal so puts the uh, ponzi on there or change the pal finger on there as well and then engine setup we have a 279 horsepower engine and 286 345 396 and back to standard again so um you can not double but pretty get close get about 30 to 40 percent extra um yeah that's pretty impressive right there very nice that math isn't correct that's why you guys don't let me do math in it making our way into mod updates for all platforms today first we have the fin favorite 509 510 change log six where are he there model adaptions rotating beacon selectable carpet selectable and add config built in we've got an update to the bomber front cultivator changelog 1.001 console release so this is new for console today but it is an update for pc making it update for all platforms and an update to the ponger squad chrysal 300 changelog 1.1 new configurations added and minor bug fixes have been done to the mod and lastly today an update to the flegal vfw 25000 changelog 1.1 manure system compatible don't forget this is not a mod that is on pc however has to be updated for all platforms in order to get this update well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like on the video get subscribed to the channel join the goham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel don't forget they've announced a new dlc today so i've already made two videos on that check that out very very good stuff going on there but with all that being said i hope you have a great day and we will see you later peace